Well, students across Southwest Virginia, they're getting ready this morning. Some already back in the classrooms. Yeah, today some will pack their backpacks, hop on buses and get ready for the first day of school. Now, WFXR's Haley Connor is live in Danville this morning as that school district prepares to welcome students back with open arms. Absolutely. Good day to you, Haley. So how's the first day of school going? Good day, Charmaine and Evan. I'm currently at Woodbury Hills Elementary School here in Danville, where they are starting their first day back to school after summer break. Now I'm here with a very special guest, Lisa Shelton, the principal here at Woodbury Hills. And Lisa, tell me, how are you feeling with the students back here? I know that school just started. What are some feelings you're feeling? We are feeling so excited. We are pumped. We had a wonderful uh, open house last week. Lots of parents, lots of students coming. This morning, the welcome back was fabulous. We had people from central office. We had people from the school board. We had uh, uh, city council, everybody, police officers, and of course, all our st faculty and staff just out here welcoming and greeting uh, students. So we are so happy to be back. It's going to be a wonderful year here at Woodbury Hills. Awesome. And I know we spoke a little bit on Friday about your plans for the upcoming school year with keeping students safe, keeping students healthy. Can you speak a little bit about that? Absolutely. So our number one priority is going to be uh, for students to feel welcome, for them to feel safe, both emotionally and physically and secure. So until that happens, the learning can't really gear up. But now we've got that in place. And uh, so we're going to have high academic standards, high behavioral standards, and we're going to do everything we can to make our students feel welcome and safe. And we've got teams in place and we've got a great structure here uh, of uh, people in certain positions. So everybody's looking out for our little wolves. Are there any new measures that are being implemented for this school year that are different than the last school year? Well, this year we do not have to have masks. It's optional for the students. So while we will encourage them to wear a mask if they choose and if their parents choose, it's an option. We do not have to have the screens uh, in between the children, the uh, little shields. And I think this is going to be a good thing uh, because even though we appreciate the fact that we needed the mask during the pandemic, uh, I'm glad that we're moving to a point in the pandemic where we're not requiring the mask. The students, I think, will do much better with being able to see facial expressions, even for phonics learning. Uh, they can actually see the enunciation, so I think that's going to be very good. Uh, of course, we have keyless entry, so all of our faculty have badges. Uh, we have, you know, all of our doors are always locked for uh, physical safety. We have a school resource officer who's always on the premise and always walking the perimeter and the inside of the building. Uh, so basically, we just have some good measures in place. Everybody, uh, I kind of have a little say, and everybody has a place, and there's a place for everybody. So as long as everybody's in their place along the chain, uh, things work smoothly. And I know you have a fun little motto here at Woodbury Hills. Would you mind sharing with us what that is? Absolutely. So we are the Woodbury Wolf Pack. So we've got a couple little things we like to say. One is once you're in the pack, we've always got your back. And uh, when you're in the den, you can always find a friend. Uh, so. Awesome. I love that. Well, thank you so much for being with us here today. I really do appreciate it. And I will be live and local here in Danville over the next hour covering more on back to school. So in Danville, Haley Connor, WFXR News. I like those yeah. things. Once you're in the den, you always got a friend. And once you're in the pack, we got your back. I like that. <laughs> I like that. All right, Haley, thank you. Danville City Schools also presented a capital projects update at last month's board meeting to help boost schools across the district. Yeah, now for more information on what you need to do to prepare your child for back to school this year, just go by our website, wfxrtv.com.